Switching gears. Now, last week we talked about the Salat, okay? Last week we talked about uh, Tahana. We talked about Stinja. We talked about washing up, going to the bathroom, right? We talked about that, right? We talked about how to clean ourselves up using the bathroom. We talked about what hand to use, what hand not to use, okay? Uh, we talked about the aura, okay? We talked about how uh, the Muslim man should be dressed, how the Muslim sister should be dressed, okay? One of the things that uh, we discussed before the Salat is a concept of isbal. Write this down real quick. Isbal. Okay? Isbal is the concept or the sunnah in which we do not allow our pants to go below our ankles. Okay? So, our pants, our thobes, whatever it is that we're wearing, must not go below the ankles. Okay? The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that for us to allow our pants to go below our ankles, this is a form of arrogance. This is a form of arrogance, i.e. kibber. The Arabic word for arrogance is kibber. And he said that which hangs below the ankles, that is in the hellfire. So whatever part of our clothing that hangs below the ankles, this is out of, this is out of arrogance. And this will have us in, or that part will be in the hellfire. Okay? As Muslim men, this is only for the men specifically. The men, we are not allowed to allow our pants, our thobes, our clothes to go below the ankles. But as far as the women, it is the opposite. They can allow their clothes to drag on the ground, okay? Even to cover their feet, it's okay for the woman because their thing is supposed to be long and flowing, nothing showing, okay? But as far as the men, it must come below or must not go below the ankle, okay? That's its bar. If you, have, if you got shoes on, if you got, if you got shoes on, I mean, the, the main thing is that your pants should be fitted a certain way that they come to the ankles, not go below the ankles, okay? So, like, uh, if you can get your stuff fitted or you can get it, you know, or, like, if you, if you can't get it fitted, then you roll them up. Like, sometimes I roll my pants up so that it won't go below my ankles. Or if I get my thobes or whatnot, I just got, like, three of my thobes. My mama did it because it was coming too long. So I said, mama, make it come up here. You know what I'm saying? So, boom, I got it tailored so that it won't go below my ankles. You know what I'm saying? So the thing is, again, conforming to the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he tells us these things for a reason. You know, uh, we don't sag in Islam. You know, we wear belts. We don't, I don't walk around like this, one hand on my pants, one hand on my cell phone. We don't walk around like that. You can't fight nobody like that. You can't defend yourself like that. But hold on, man, let me, hold on. Come on, you can't do that, okay? I've seen people get embarrassed, okay? Because their pants fell down. So, you know, we, we're not trying to get embarrassed. We're trying to be, uh, we're trying to be on our toes at all times where our pants ain't falling, where we can run and all this other kind of stuff. So there's a reason for the season of why we don't wear baggy pants, why we wear belts, why we don't let our stuff hang low, okay? But all this is part of the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Also to be, uh, uh, sharp to be dressing nice to make sure your stuff is you know creased and stuff like this. This is also part of the deen. Okay, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was asking about. They asked the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam about arrogance or kibber, because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in the hadith that anyone who has any bit of kibber or arrogance in his heart, that he or she will not even be able to smell paradise. Although paradise can be smelled 700 years away. So they say, Ya Rasulullah. But some of us like to wear nice clothes. Some of us like to wear nice shoes. We like to dress sharp. Is this arrogance? Is this kibber? He said, no, because Allah is Al-Jamil. He is the most handsome of those who are handsome. This is one of his names and attributes. And he loves those things that are beautiful. He said, arrogance is pertaining to the deen. Arrogance is pertaining to the deen. And arrogance is pertaining to the belittling of your brother or your sister. I.e., meaning that you talk down on yourself. Look at how she didn't take these shoes out, oh, man. You ain't nothing. You don't know more than me. You're talking bad. You're talking down on your brother or your sister. This is arrogance. Man, you ain't nothing. Man. I don't know more than you, man. You ain't, that's, that's arrogance. Or arrogance pertaining to the deen, meaning someone tells you, Allah subhanahu said this, or they tell you, Muhammad subhanahu wa said this in hadith, but yet you say, I don't care. I still want to do what I want to do. That's arrogance, okay? Arrogance is not looking sharp and dressing nice and wearing nice clothes or wearing nice shoes or uh, uh, ironing your pants or 
waxing your shoes or anything like that. Make sure your teeth is clean. Make sure your nails is clean. That's not arrogance. To the contrary, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, make sure that you are presentable at all times. In one of the hadiths, the Prophet Sallallahu was with the Sahabas. They were coming back from a campaign, a long trip. He said, make sure you take care and straighten yourselves up because you are now getting ready to be uh, 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 go back into the sight of your wives. You're now going to be seen in front of the people. So make sure you're presentable before you get you, you present yourself back in front of the people. So therefore, make yourself uh, uh, hygienic. Make yourself ready. Get your clothes in order. Straighten up. Okay. So this is kibber. Kibber means arrogance. Okay. This is the definition of arrogance. Don't let nobody tell you all oh, you're overconfident that you're arrogant. No, arrogance is this. Arrogance is pertaining to the dean. Right? Arrogance is if you don't submit to the dean. Arrogance is when you talk bad about people. You put people down. You call people nicknames. You think you're better than somebody. Oh, or you think because you got more money than them. Or because you got a different car than them. And you put yourself above them. This is arrogance. Okay? But nothing with regards to trying to look nice. Okay?